and one. Joanna Sobiak. So Joanna approached me a couple months ago and this is our second belly burn challenge in. The first belly burn challenge we went four weeks but I decided to extend it two weeks because I knew after summer, everybody needed that little bit more of accountability and coaching. And over those two weeks, she's like literally dropped exponentially amounts of fat and the weight that her body needed to lose. And in today's video, I'm gonna go through the exact strategy that I brought Joanna from 132 pounds to 126.9. So she was down 5.9 pounds and her body fat dropped by 4.3%. So if you think about that, that's almost six pounds of heavy fat that she lost. So here's Joanna's stats. So Joanna's stats when she started the six week journey, so the belly burn plus an extension of two weeks, she was 132 and she got down to 126.9. She dropped 5.9 pounds. Then her body fat in the four week challenge went down by 4.3%, which is almost six pounds of fat. Her muscle mass went up by 1.4% and her visceral went down a whole 1%. Then we did the extra two weeks. So she dropped another 6.9 pounds. That's right, 6.9 pounds in a matter of two weeks. And her body fat went from 31.5 all the way to 19%. So how do we do it? Sit down, this is gonna be a longer video, but I'm gonna give you the exact strategy. So get out a pen and piece of paper and take notes if you wanna see numbers exactly like her. So the thing about Joanna was that she was already a workout workoutaholic and she's done belly burns, so her body was already primed to shred the weight, shred the fat and build the muscle. She came off summer, so her body had enough stored calories and in fact, she was already in a weight gain slash fat gain mode because of summer. And you can literally change your cycle like that, but it does take time. So she was losing weight pre-summer, summer hit, festivities, outings, drinks, foods, et cetera, et cetera. It's three months of enjoying life, but enjoying that much results in weight gain. And she was in a weight gain mode compared to when she started the summer, because I looked at her measurements from the previous belly burn to where she started. So she had enough calories primed in her that we can go a little bit more aggressive and mentally she was prepared. But I wasn't aware that she was doing four workouts a day, but I did know that she had somewhat of a physical job. So I set her calories for 1200 on Monday, Tuesdays, 1500 as a refeed on Wednesday and Saturdays, but Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, she did a thousand. Once again, Monday, Tuesday, 1200 calories, Wednesdays and Saturdays, 1500, and then Thursday, Friday was 1,000, and Sunday was 1,000 over. So we went lower because she was gaining weight over the summer, and I always say that we have the second fridge to work on. The first week, we did a 16-hour fast. When it came to supplements, I had her on DIM because she's over the age of 40, so her estrogen levels aren't where they were 20 years ago. I put her on leaner, which we all know is a weight management supplement. It's also a mild fat burner. Effie's as a fat burner, but also an appetite suppressant. L-carnitine to help the fat cells open up so it can release more fat. Vitastack for your metabolism, for recovery, for just general well-being and health. Lipotropics because her body fat was still high and plus she was gaining fat. So I wanted the fat cells to become more pliable so that we can utilize and get rid of that fat a lot faster, but cutting from 31.5 to 19% in a matter of six weeks, I think that's phenomenal. And we went with a higher stack because she's utilized the supplements before and she was in a weight gaining mode. When it came to her overall appearance, her legs, and her upper body were already pretty toned. We just needed to decrease the amount of fat that she had going so that the muscle would appear even more. So that's how fat and muscle work. If you have a lot of fat and you have muscle here, as you add more fat, the muscle becomes more distant from actually being visible through the skin. And so we focus on dropping her body fat while increasing the muscle slightly by 1.4% because she was already at a higher number and now we're able to see the muscle because the fat cells have decreased. Every day I gave her seven minutes of abs to do. Now a lot of people won't make time for that, especially if they're doing four workouts. Joanna is a rarity. So to reproduce this, you have to follow this exact formula. 
I gave her seven minutes of abs to do daily. It was like seven or eight different exercises, all targeting the different areas of the core. And then I threw in small challenges here and there to build specific areas. Like I wanted to get her shoulders more popping. So I had her do stuff like reverse flies or extra arms because I really wanted them to look good for the photo. So I'd give her some like biceps, some tricep dips. She had some light weights at home. When she went to the gym, she went a little bit heavier. I increased her fasting once a week. So the first week was 16 hours. The second week was a 20 hour. The third week was a 24. And then the fourth week we went up to a 36 hour fast. And it's not actually like a true fast because I throw in EAAs and greens and then protein shakes here and there. Sometimes they actually eat whole foods. And if you're looking for that method, I'm gonna be posting in a video. It's gonna be the 24 hour fasting method. And I'm gonna post the 36 hour fasting method as well. It's nothing that you've ever seen before. It's very specific to me and Fit Club. We did on our fourth week and her sixth week, we did a peak week. So what is a peak week? Where we front load carbs, water, and salt. And then we back load and we dump all those carbs water and salt. So salt retains water and then carbs also absorbs a lot of water. And so we went carb heavy with the first two days of the week because what ends up happening is by the middle of the week, your body has two options. It's either going to store it as fat or it's going to try and dump it all out. And so we went like high carbs and then we went low carbs basically by the end of the week. So here, and then the body gets rid of it and it thinks, hey, like I just had an abundance of carbs. So I'm going to dump all these carbs and all this extra water and all this extra salt and make your skin and muscles look tighter and leaner. So we did a peak week on the fourth week and we also did a peak week on to the sixth week. During the peak week, the calories range from 900 all the way up to 15. And it's by this time the stomach was shrunk and it was actually adapted to less calories. And you think, well, RJ, how does anybody eat 900 calories? Well, if you've been in a belly burn challenge, you got to understand, and most people understand that this is like a short term method, right? So think about it. If you and I work together and your goal is to lose 10 pounds and I make you lose 15 pounds, but after your four weeks of belly burn, you gain back five, we've hit your target. And so is this sustainable? No, I wanna create an abundance in a short period of time because you're like me. I wanna see rapid results. If I'm on a diet, I wanna see results within days. I don't wanna see results within years. But then what we do is we stack on belly burns and we continue to drop the weight that you don't want, continue to drop the fat that you don't want and continue to add the muscle that you do want. Now that is gonna be the long-term goal, but for now, we wanna create success in a short time. So eating 900 calories, is it sustainable for most people? Absolutely not. Is it sustainable for three or four days of a 28 day cycle? Yes, it is. And especially if we've got that extra fridge, we can go hungry for a little bit of while. At the end of the week, once we started dropping the carbs and dropping the water and the salt, we then started taking water tights. So water tights is an all natural, somewhat diuretic, but it also has electrolytes in it so you don't cramp up. But we've basically taken all that excess water and we dumped it. On the last couple days, we really limited water, but then we really cut the water. So we limited water. If we're normally drinking five liters of water on a Monday, and then by the time, like let's say the photo shoot was on a Friday, on the Thursday or Friday, we would start to reduce the water. So we'd go five, five, four, three on Thursday. We'd cut down to one on Friday before noon. And then we would go to one from Friday noon until the photos noon the next day while taking the water tight. And by doing this, you front loaded the water. So by the end of the week, it's such a short period of time that your body's like, okay, I've already got an abundance of water. In fact, this is too much because normally you drink three liters of water. And by the end of the week, you're like, okay, I've had this abundance. We're down here. Let's find a way to make it balance, right? So if you cut water just very temporarily, it's gonna make the muscles look a little bit tighter. It's gonna bring out, it's gonna get rid of the little excess water between your muscles and your skin. Okay, so it's gonna really showcase that muscle. Is it a technique for everybody? I think if you have the muscle that you do wanna showcase, then yes, this technique definitely works for you. I've used it on a wide variety of people and in the end, they're very happy with the results. So could you try it? I mean, I'm not telling you to, but if you wanna try, it's up to you. So the next two weeks of shredding, that was four weeks and you guys saw the results. It was about six pounds and it was about six pounds of fat that she lost 
Then you've seen the next two weeks where we stayed on top of it, right? So that Saturday, I gave her a, like, like kind of like a cheat day, right? And, or, or like a refeed. And so she went really low calories, really low carbs, really low water. Then she had a really high carb, high water, high calorie day. And then Sunday, we like brought it back down to normal levels. And then what ends up happening is, yeah, sure, you probably gained five or six pounds overnight, but you got to think about your body never wants to be too high and it never wants to be too low. It always wants to sit in the middle. And so if she's consumed a bunch of calories, then what ends up happening is the body, as long as you get back on, if you do three or four or five days in a row of eating high calories, high carbs, high water, then that weight's probably going to stick with you. But if you only do it for one day, especially after a major caloric dump that you had prior, your body will just get rid of those calories. You probably get an upset stomach, you're probably gonna feel super bloated, but eventually your body's gonna push all that excess out and it's gonna get you back to where you left off. And so then we jumped her right back onto kind of like week one of the belly burn where it was like 1,000 calories to 1,500 calories with the refeed. And I put her in a super team of other people that were super motivated because to do another two weeks after you've done four is really tough. But that group dynamic of having the people that are like, hey, I'm all in mentality, it actually helps and it helped Joanna to stay motivated over the next two weeks and drop her body fat by over 10%. So then we started the peak week again on the following Sunday. We did this modified 36 hour fast. We did the carb load, the water load, uh, even front loaded the calories. And then we back load, drop the calories, drop the carbs, drop the salt, drop the water. And in the end, you saw the results or you'll see the results in the photos where she got absolutely shredded. And this is only our first belly burn that we've done together. And Joanna is committing to all of the next belly burns into the new year. And honestly, think about it. If we rinse and repeat the cycle, my goal for Joanna is to get her so thin, so trim that to put on five pounds over the course of like three, three, three months, that's gonna be such a fantastic ride for her. But she's putting all the work in now, we're getting her extra lean, extra prepared. This way we're over prepared, over lean, and then it's easier to go backwards than it is to try and cut that last little fat or weight or whatever it is before summer. So guys, if you wanna be like Joanna, you wanna get resu results like Joanna, rewind this video, take notes, but ultimately, what does this come down to? Is that Joanna's a mom, she works full time, plus she's going to school to upgrade her medical information or, or to get her medical degree. And she works out at the gym. Like, what does that tell you? That it has that I'll make it happen no matter what mentality. So if you wanna see massive results like this, it's gonna take massive actions. I just laid out the plan that she followed through, put it down on paper, make it happen today. So if you're looking to drop 12 or more pounds in six weeks or less, then go visit our website. At the bottom, you're gonna see where I asked you, hey, do you, are you looking for something in particular or do you have a question? Click that, mention the belly burn, and we only run them six times a year and they're always sold out months in advance. So you're gonna wanna take action and get on that list because we don't know when the next one's gonna start for you, when you, depending on when you're watching this video. So get started now. Members, if, you really want to see results and if you consistently struggle with your nutrition or even having the motivation to go and work out then get into all the belly burns you're going to see joanna around the gym and you're going to see her results and you're going to ask yourself what did she do that i'm not doing she's doing all the belly burns she's trusting the process and she has the mentality of i can and will do it so do you